season. Yeah, and the reason I did that, Ashley, is because uh, obviously over the break, I've got to get these reviews in now uh, because next week I want to give you my predictions for the Academy Awards. I'll be going on vacation to Mexico, and when I get back, the uh, nominations will have already been out. But let me talk to you about uh, three movies that I saw over the holiday break that I believe will be nominated for Best Picture. Les Miserables, Django Unchained, and Zero Dark Thirty. Now, Les Mis is directed by Tom Hooper, who won Best Director and Best Picture two years ago for The King's Speech. I knew going in that I'd love the music because I've seen the stage musical a couple of times. But that's not why I love this movie. It's the acting. Hugh Jackman is tremendous, Anne Hathaway, superb. And Samantha Barks, she steals every scene she's in. And besides, she does a fabulous job performing my favorite song in the piece, and that's on my own. I see Les Mis battling Lincoln for the most Oscar nominations for 2012. It's great. Next is Django Unchained. Directed by the one and only Quentin Tarantino of Pulp Fiction and Inglorious Bastards fame. Django is typical Tarantino with plenty of humor, blood, cursing, and gory scene after gory scene. I must say, though, I was disappointed in this movie. I was so much looking forward to it because I loved Inglorious Bastards and actually thought that it should have won Best Picture of the Year. Don't get me wrong, even though I was expecting Django to be much better, I thought the acting was great, especially my man Christoph Waltz, who won Best Supporting Actor for Inglorious Bastards. He could very well get nominated again. However, he might get canceled out by Leonardo DiCaprio, who I also love, who was excellent in this movie as the evil plantation owner. And lastly, Zero Dark Thirty, directed by Kate Bigelow, who won Best Director and Best Picture three years ago for Hurt Locker. Now, this picture is the second most intense movie of the year, next to Argo. The first half of the film reminded me a lot of Traffic and Munich, if you recall those two films. Jessica Chastain is brilliant as the CIA agent who is relentless in her decade-long hunt of Osama bin Laden. After being nominated last year for Supporting Actress in The Help, she very well might walk away from this year's ceremonies with the best actress gold. I like this movie a lot more than I thought I would. It's not political. It's instead a very fascinating look at the behind-the-scenes workings of the CIA. This movie is controversial because apparently Bigelow took liberties with the torture scenes that the government denies ever happened. Nonetheless, Zero Dark Thirty is another one of 2012's best.